tax implications of investing in Phoenix rental properties. Investing in Phoenix rental properties comes with tax benefits as well as a few consequences that you'll have to be prepared for. Please understand that at Service Star Realty, we're not accountants. We're sharing information with you from the experience and perspective of a property management company. We're well versed on what you have to pay and what you can deduct as a rental property owner. But you should always talk with your tax accountant before you make any moves that will impact your financial portfolio and wealth. One of the best tax tools for real estate investors is depreciation. This allows you to write off part of the loss of the value that any property experiences as it ages. Every property will undergo wear and tear and general deterioration, no matter how great its condition. The IRS has established 27 and a half years of the amount of time that a residential property depreciates. Speaking of tax time, do you know what you can deduct as expenses associated with your Phoenix rental property? There are a few things you should always take advantage of when you're claiming tax benefit. Insurance costs for your investment properties, professional Phoenix property management fees, additional professional fees such as accounting or legal costs, interest paid on any mortgage covering your rental property, maintenance and accelerated depreciation on household items, travel costs involved with visiting your rental properties. We've talked about the Phoenix investment property taxes before, so make sure you check out our video blog on the topic. Arizona law requires owners to register their rental property with the county assessor. Well, the county taxes your rental at a higher rate than what you pay on your primary, as your primary residence. Rental registration can be completed online and it is mandatory. There's also a transaction privilege tax, or TPT, which owners must pay. It's similar to sales tax on the income you receive and is payable to the city in which your property is located. You need to apply for a TPT tax license, file a monthly tax return, and send in your payment. Finally, there's a state and federal income tax that must be paid on any and all of your investment properties. When you sell your personal home, you potentially avoid paying capital gains on the first $250,000 of profit, courtesy of the tax code's gains on sales exclusion. When you sell your rental property, however, your investment doesn't qualify for this exclusion. You'll have to pay taxes on any long-term capital gains from the sale of the rental properties that you've owned. If you want to defer those capital gains taxes, you might want to consider a 1031 exchange. In this scenario, you'll sell one rental property and then use the proceeds to invest in a similar property or a series of properties. It won't wipe away your tax liability entirely, but it will give you the opportunity to strengthen your investment portfolio and delay paying those taxes. We can talk to you more about how to maximize your tax benefit and minimize your tax liabilities when it comes to Phoenix rental homes. We have several other informational blogs on cash flow and how to maximize your profits on our website, which is leaseaz.com. Or better yet, give us a call. Service Star Realty.